हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक विच इज यूज इन इंजीनियरिंग एज वेल एज एम एस सी ऑफ मैनी यूनिवर्सिटीज ऑफ राजस्थान सो टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग टू इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इनवर्स लापलास ट्रांसफॉर्म वन इज डेरिवेटिव प्रॉपर्टी एंड अदर इज डिविजन प्रॉपर्टी फर्स्ट वी study derivatives property c carefully in front of you if l inverse of f of p is f of x l inverse we have discussed l inverse in earlier classes inverse laplace transform of f of p is f of x then the derivative of f of p we find the l inverse of derivative of f of p which is minus 1 to the power n x to the power n f of x so basically this property says that if you have the l inverse of a function then you want to find the l inverse of derivative of this function then by this property we can find the l inverse of derivative of a function here dn by dpn is of f of p means the nth derivative of f of p and it is equals to minus 1 to the power n x to the power n f of x where n is 1 2 3 so on if you take n is equal to 1 then what it will become if we take if we take here n is equal to 1 then n is equal to 1 then it will become d by dp of f of p l inverse is equal to minus x f of x what i have used here i have just take n is equal to 1 so n is equal to 1 it is it become minus and n is equal to 1 become x and f of x here f of x is the derivative of f of p so see this property carefully and we will discuss a question of this property now uh, our second property is division property uh, it is a very simple property that if you know the inverse laplace transform of f of p is f of x and you want to know that if we divide if we divide p in f of p then what will be the inverse laplace transform of f of p upon p it is very simple just put u in place of x and integrate it with taking limit 0 to x so the l inverse of f of p upon p is integrating 0 to x f of u du but very important thing this property can only be used if limit x tends to infinity f of upon x exist this function or this value must be exist to use the division property so uh, today we are going to discuss this property and we are going to solve questions of this property so see and learn this property very carefully now uh, we take a question in which both these properties are applied we take a question here question is in front of you the question is what will be the l inverse of p upon p square plus 1 whole square also we have to show that l inverse of 1 upon p square plus 1 whole square is half sin x minus cos x now i am solving this question see carefully first we have to find the l inverse of p upon p square plus 1 whole square now if you if you apply the property of derivatives then first we have to think that whose derivative is p upon p square plus 1 whole square whose derivative so see that if we differentiate d by dp 1 upon p square plus 1 
what what we differentiate one upon p square plus one. What will be the answer? You know uh, the formula of one upon x with respect to x. The derivative of one upon x is minus one upon x square of one upon x. So what will be the what will be the derivative of one upon p square plus one? It will be one upon p square plus one to the power two, and again minus one upon p square plus one whole square. Again, the derivative of p square is two p. So the derivative of one upon p square plus one is minus two p upon p square plus one whole square. Here minus two is constant. So see carefully that we want to find the L inverse of p upon p square plus one whole square, and what we get minus two upon p square plus one whole square. Here minus two is constant. Now we can write it again d by dp of one upon p square plus one is equal to minus two p upon p square plus one whole square. Now, what we want to do? We want to find the L inverse of L inverse. If we find this, what we get? Now, what we have, what we have learned in our theorem, we apply our theorem. But if I find the L inverse, L inverse of one upon p square plus one. What is the L inverse of one upon p square plus one? It is a standard result, and it is sine x. The L inverse of one upon p square plus one is sine x. Now, now I am applying the property which have we have discussed earlier, the division property. Division property is in front of you. What division property is? What division property is? Division property is. If you know the L inverse of f of p, and you want to know the derivative of L inverse of derivative of f of p, then we apply this theorem. Now, what is in our question? We know that L inverse of one upon p square plus one is sine x, and we want to know we want to know the L inverse of its derivative minus two p upon p square plus One whole square is a derivative of one upon p square plus one, so we can apply our property easily. What the property says? See the property carefully. What the property says? What is our property? That you know the L inverse of f of p, and you want to know the L inverse of its derivative. Then we can use this here. Here we have. Uh, Studied. If we take n is equal to one, so in our question um, we have differentiate it one time, so our n is one. Now I apply the property which I have studied. What is our property? That uh, it is minus two is our constant, so it will be minus two. Now uh, minus one. To the power n, n is one, n is one here. X to the power n, n is one here, and and f of x, f of x. What is f of x? F of x is l inverse of one upon p square plus one, and it is sine x. So what it will become here? We can send here. We can send this. Minus two, this minus two, when it come this side, then it will become minus one by two, minus one to the power n, x to the power one, sine x. So, l inverse of l inverse of p upon p square plus one whole square is this minus minus become plus, and it become x by two sine x. X by two sine x, and we got the answer that L inverse of p upon p square plus one whole square is x by two sine x. Here, students, 
this this minus two when it come in RHS then it come this side and uh, it uh, upon x it will be under the x x by two. Now it is our answer. So next we uh, also uh, show we have to show that L inverse of 1 upon P square plus 1 whole square is half sin x minus x cos x. Uh, we have earlier study uh, second property which is division property C uh, division property is in front of you. If you know the L inverse of f of P which is f of x and you want to know the L inverse of f of P upon P then we use the formula f of u du. So we can use the formula here what we know that L inverse of P upon P square plus 1 whole square is x by 2 sin x. Now, now L inverse of 1 upon P I just divide P in the function. We know the L inverse of P upon P square plus 1 whole square and you want to know what will be the L inverse if I divide P in this function. So I divide P in this function. We have our theorem in front of you that L inverse of f of P is f of x. What will be the L inverse if I divide P here? You just have to put U in place of x and just integrate it with taking limit 0 to x. So we are applying this theorem here. Taking limit 0 to x, x, x become u, u by 2 sin u du. Here 1 by 2 is constant. Limit 0 to x, u sin u du. Now we have to solve this integration. We will solve it easily. Uh, here uh, we solve it by integration by parts. Here u is first function and sin u is second function. So half, what is the formula? First function into integration of second, second function. So integration of sin u is minus cos u. Again minus sine of integration, differentiation of first function. So differentiation of u is 1 into integration of second function. Again integration of sin is cos u du. is equal to minus u cos u minus minus plus and integration of cos is sine. So it becomes sine u. We take limit 0 to x 0 to x and putting the upper limit putting the upper limit x I get minus x cos x plus sine x. If I put the lower limit 0, it will 0 and it will 0. So answer is half minus x cos x plus sin x. And you see what we want to prove. We want to prove the same which we get. We have to, we have to prove half sin x minus x cos x and it is the same half sin x minus x cos x. So we have proved the result. So uh, students you can also take the screenshot of this question for your further understanding. Now uh, I hope you understood this question easily. Uh, we have used both theorems which we have earlier discussed. We, the both property we have discussed division property and uh, derivative property. Is, which is in front of you property number 1 and 2 and we use this property 1 and 2 in our question. Now if you understood the concept of this both properties then I have a question for you. You can also uh, solve the question based on this property. The question are in front of you. I have three questions. First is L inverse of P plus 1 upon P square plus 2P plus 2 whole square and answer is given in front of you. Also the second question is given and in third question you have to prove the inverse Laplace transformation and also you have to evaluate the value of L inverse of this function 
एंड आंसर इज टू बाई एक्स वन माइनस कॉज एक्स स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द टू टॉपिक विच आई हैव डिस्कस्ड टूडे डिविजन प्रॉपर्टी एंड डेरिवेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इनवर्स लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एंड फॉर फर्दर क्वेश्चन एंड फर्दर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ इनवर्स लाप्लास ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन यू कैन गो टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल्स थैंक यू वेरी मच